Hi, this is Alexandra. In my freezing room, I call it the deep freezer. It's really negative temperature now. Uh, I'm holding the camera in my hands and uh, I'm going to do this video on a request to show how do I connect my radios to uh, my computer to use them with RealFlight G3.5 and RealFlight G5. Mm, yeah, Redcat Mini P40 is sitting here. Well, first off, let us pick up, um, you know, either of these radios. These are my three beautiful, nice radios that I always use. Futaba 10C for UAV FPV. Futaba 6EXAP, my oldest radio. Uh, I use it for electric planes, simulators, etc, etc. Et and my DX7 that I use for T-Rex 600 only. But recently, I found that I can also use it with my real flight G5. So, let us pick up uh, 6EXAP, okay put it down here with the kitty who is enjoying the heater right and uh, pick up the DX7 okay when I bought real flight G5 and G3.5 they came with this kind of USB dongles okay this is a very old one it connects to USB port so basically it cheats the real flight software so that we can use our Futaba or DX7 radios all right how do I connect it it's very simple this thing goes back okay that's it all right and it goes to my PC it's a bit difficult to see through the camera viewfinder okay all right and uh, on the back you have a Futaba connector on the back we have a Futaba connector all right so uh, I'll pick my radio put it near kitty sorry kitty and connect it to the back similarly for my real flight G5 I have this uh, USB dongle okay and it also cheats the real flight G5 and tells the real flight G5 that a uh, trademarked or authentic controller is connected and on the back I have this kind of pin or I can use this converter that goes for Futaba 10C or Futaba radio of course but if I don't use this connector my DX7 can use simply this one once again on the back of my DX7 you can see DSC connector so I can simply put it in first let us test the real flight G3.5 and then we will test the DX7 okay the next thing that you need to do is uh, set a model on your Futaba for instance and uh, make sure all the trims and every setting is reset okay means all the trims are centered and everything is centered and then ooh, I have so many games there <laughs> All right, and then we will turn on the real fly G3.5 while your dongle is connected and blinking. Okay. Oh, I have a lawnmower. Let me change it. Hold on. Aircraft, let's say uh, Ultimate, for instance. Okay, so we have chosen the aircraft. All right. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to... Let me zoom in. I'm not using Fraps because Fraps doesn't record all these things. You need to go to the controller and go for uh, select controller and choose interlink joystick. And then you go for channel mapping. Okay. In the channel mapping, you can actually move your sticks. Okay. For, in for example, I can see this is my channel 3. This is my channel 4, this is my channel 1, and channel 2. Now, for instance, if moving these channels, a wrong channel is moving on, for instance, on aileron. If I move aileron and uh, elevator moves, so I can actually very easily go here and choose what I want. Roll, page, throttle, yaw, what, whatever you want, you can actually choose there and set your channels to the respective inputs coming from your radio now if your channel is reversed you can actually reverse the channels here this means you don't have to do any kind of setup on your radio all you need to do is set up the channel mapping on this one okay once you have done the channel mapping the next thing comes is controller calibration okay 
This means you need to put all the trims to the center, you need to put all the sticks to the center and move the sticks a uh, number of times in a circular position and then leave it alone. This means your software will actually record the center position or the maximum positions of your sticks. Once this all is done, you are ready to fly. Okay, that's it. Well, I'm holding the camera by one hand, but anyway, I can still do the flight. I can increase the throttle and use my right hand to control the sticks. Ooh, nice landing. All right, so this is it. Now let me show you how do I set up the DX7.